on the way to the train station at the moment. Zipping along through the roads or not. <laughs> made it to the train station so I came in gate 5 and then came along to section B which is as you walk in the door you take a right and walk down and then there's some seats down here and now I'm just waiting until we start boarding so the ticket I will insert a picture of it here. I booked through a company called 12 Go Asia and literally it was sent to me almost immediately. So yeah, really easy to do and I'm looking forward to it. The only thing is I've got a top bunk this time rather than a bottom of bunk. So I hope I can hoist myself up. Yay, I've made it to the train, so I'm on car four, seat number 15. I think I'm going to sleep like a brick. I am so exhausted. It's just not even true. It'll be bed made, get in, lights out, done. So last time I came, I didn't get to see the restaurant car and I've just been for cake and orange juice. Okay, I'm gonna try and show you the toilet on the sleeper train, but <laughs> it's a really tight squeeze. So you've got a proper sit down toilet and a little sink, soap, wash hand dryer, toilet paper and a bum gun. <laughs> That's about your lot. <laughs> I am so tired. I just want them to come and make the bed so I can go to sleep. These are the little stairs that you've got to go up to your top bunk. Look at me, king of the castle. <laughs> I am so glad to be in bed. I am absolutely exhausted. So hopefully I'm going to sleep because I've got no window to look out. So it's now half past eight and it's time for sleep because I'm going to be an early start tomorrow. Hello. That wasn't too bad, I actually managed some sleep this time. I have orange juice for breakfast, yay! Oh! Thank you! So pleased to be back in Chiang Mai so gets off the train and thought do you know what it's not far I'll walk I've just looked it up it's about a 40 minute walk with the backpacks why do I never make things easy for myself eh? I have no idea but I have been sat on my bum for the last 12 hours, so it'll probably do me good. See, when you travel lighter, this is the joys. You can pick up your bag and go. Yay, I made it. <laughs> Oh my word, I am so happy. It feels like coming home. Just round this corner to the left and I'm back. And 
I looking forward to putting these bags down? Here we go. This is me. This is my new suite. I have you know. Double doors, look at this. I'm going right up class. Right, what have we got in here? In here, oh hello. I have got a sink, shower, toilet. Cute, let's close that up. Then we've got a little corridor into my own private room. Double bed, television. I have a little desk to be able to work in. Wardrobe. Oh, there is a little pull-out bed in this suite as well. So if you wanted an extra person or a child. What's the view like? Okay. And they've got little guards on the window as well for mosquitoes. But I will be keeping those closed to keep the heat out and to keep the mosquitoes out. So we'll close that up. Yeah, that's not too bad at all. I paid 22 UK pounds for two nights here and it is low season at the moment. And on my booking.com, I am a genius level three because I use it quite a lot. So that's where the extra discount has come from. But yeah, and I got in early. It's only half past 11 and check-ins normally at two o'clock. Um, but I think that maybe they just weren't that busy at the moment because as I say, it is low season. So right now I'm gonna take a little nap <laughs> because the train journey was good, but boy, I could do with a shower and a lay down. Oh, okay, I've just moved the covers. There's a bit of a dirty mark on there. It might just be a complete stain. But the rest of the room looks fine. The walls are a bit grubby, but it's an old building and that's to be expected. Otherwise, it actually does look quite clean and comfortable, but I will reserve judgment till after I've laid down and had a nap. <laughs> I am so tired. That air conditioning unit in this room is just ridiculous. I don't know whether the microphone on my phone here can pick it up, but it is so loud. <laughs> I'm so tired. It's so good to be home in Chiang Mai. <laughs> Finished my roast dinner and think what I might do is go for a massage. and the Sunday market is just starting to set up now. Good morning, everybody. So I've had two nights here in the suite room at BB House, and today I am moving to the single room, just because it's a little bit cheaper. <laughs> but I've been told that it's a very small room, so I'm gonna head down, change over now, and then I'll give you a room tour of him. So these are the washroom facilities. We have got two showers like this, and they have a sliding door that connects with a toilet. It is quite snug. And here's the second one, toilet, and then there's two shared wash basins as well. And then a nice little view out the window. They've also got these bamboo drying racks, which is really useful for drying your clothes. Now, don't blink or turn away because this really not gonna take long. <laughs> I'm room 405. Well, I told you not to blink. <laughs> this is my room. Shall we do it a complete walkthrough? I have two plugs. The electric is by putting your key in. I have my own dustbin that 
I made because they don't provide one. This is a lock box, which actually, to be honest, you can't really fit much in it. Air conditioning and a window. And that's my bed. On the upside, that is one of the most comfortable beds that I have slept in since I've been away. The mattress is quite soft and you just snuggle straight in and it's lovely. And with the air conditioning right above you, oh, it's sheer bliss, it really is. I just popped in here to have something to eat. And as I was sat having my drink, a lovely lady called Zah walked past and asked me if I was the YouTuber, Nan. So we've sat and had a chat and now we're going to go down to the market together. And this is their family stall. So if you're ever in Chiang Mai, do stop by and say hello, won't you? An unexpected but lovely evening. I've just said goodbye to Za and headed back to my room now because I'm exhausted. It's been a very long day, but I got a big smile on my face and it's so lovely to meet a subscriber. So it has been a fairly comfortable stay here. I'm glad to be moving from here. It's only a short walk to my new accommodation and I've booked the next one for nine nights. I haven't actually seen the accommodation, but I am keeping my fingers crossed that it's slightly more comfortable. And I know it's definitely a bigger room. Well, that's unfortunate. There is not a soul here. So I've left the key on the desk and I'm going to head over to my new hotel. Okay. So I have come to a crossroads. Carry on straight down here, it's to my new hotel. And down there is a hotel that I stayed in last year and it's to Annie's Bar. And this is my new hotel. It's called Christie House. And it is right opposite where I actually did the cookery course last year, which is the Asia Scenic Thai Cooking School. Check-in's not till two o'clock, so I'll just dump my bags, I expect. There's a really nice seating area outside. That's wonderful. I think my room might be already ready, which is a spot alarm. So I'm on the second floor, room 206. Oh, wow. Okay, let me just put my bags down. Oh, bear with me. I'm going to put you down too. <laughs> oh, let me put this bag down. And I will give you a room tour. Oh, right. There we go. Here is your room tour. After that cupboard, look at this. I've got a sort of desk. I'm not sure I'll be able to work from it, but I've got a large enough bed, bedside tables with plugs next to the, let's just, oh, look at those. Very nice, very nice. Oh ho, I have a fridge. Got slippers. A little window, not much of a view. And I've got, oh, a really nice bathroom. So it's got like a separate wet area here to the toilet. So at least once I've had my shower in a minute, the floor won't be soaking wet and I go slipping and sliding because there's a bit of a divide. I think I'm going to be extremely 
happy here and so much more comfortable. I should have done it a few days ago, really. Okay, I was extremely spoiled in the last place because actually the bed was really soft. Please let it be soft. No. <laughs> it didn't move at all. <laughs> oh my word, it's such a firm mattress. Well, you can't have it all. So the mattress is quite firm, but to be honest, it's probably better for you to have a slightly firmer mattress. Sometimes it's just the little things in life, like a hairdryer. This market really does have the best food. So I have got chicken with noodles for 40 baht and a lime juice for 35 baht. I've had a lovely time with Dell today. It was so wonderful to see her. Off she goes. Hope to see her again soon. That sky is definitely telling me something and I'm not sure it's being very friendly. We're going to head to the place over the road called The Globe and they've got quiz night on tonight. France, France, France has the most time zones. Just said goodbye to Sam. So she leaves tonight on the seven o'clock bus, I believe it is, back to Bangkok. So it's been lovely having her here. <laughs> Bye Sam.